us start with our front view of an analog camera. So we have here our shutter speed window or the shutter speed ISO rather or the film speed set ring here. So that piece is used to control the length of time when light can strike the sensitized material. And next, we have our shutter release button here. That's the, the shutter release button. So the shutter release button, which is a part of the camera, which when pressed, it will keep the shutter in an open position. Next is our film advance lever. This one. Film advance lever. So the film advance lever, this piece is a mechanism for moving the film inside the camera. Next, we have our frame counter. Here. Right here. Frame counter. Frame counter. So the frame counter, or known as exposure counter, is a mechanism for recording the number of film frames exposed or for calculating the number of exposures remaining on a roll of film or in short, this is where you will know how many films left in your camera. Next is the next strap eyelet. So the next strap eyelet, so this is where you can install um, so this is where uh, you can install our strap and hang it around your neck or at your uh, hand so that to prevent the uh, direct fall of the camera into the ground. Next, uh, we have our <coughs> hand grip. This. This is the hand grip. So our hand grip, the role of the hand grip, this part here is where our fingers are placed in holding a camera and while and in while taking pictures. Next, this is the self timer self timer lever. Self timer lever. This one. So the self timer lever lever, this part here is where you will twist the lever with your desired second second uh, this is only 7 to 10 seconds delay. So if if you will take pictures with the absence of the person holding the camera. Next in line is our lens release button. So the lens release button or the lens release lever is a device used to secure the lens of a camera. Here we have our hot shoe. This is our hot shoe compact or our accessory or our accessory shoe so this is where we can install our external flash here right here the top of the camera <clears throat> next we have our film rewind crank so this film rewind crank here right here so it is a this is a device used in opening the back cover of the film reloading and the f and this is the film rewind knob together with the film rewind knob it is also a device that secure the film for any accidental rewinding next is the film speed window so the film speed window known as an emotion speed here i know here right here this is the Film speed window. Film speed window. <clears throat> so the film speed window, it is uh, an or known as the emotion speed or light sensitivity. It is the control of how slow or how fast the uh, or how fast a film reacts by light. Next is our aperture ring here. This is the aperture ring. So the aperture ring, this piece dilates and contracts to control the diameter of the hole that the light pass through. Next, we have the distance scale. This is the distance scale. 
So the distance scale, this is the one that measures how many meters or how far is the object from your camera. Next is the focusing ring right here. This is the focusing ring. So the focusing ring is the movement of lens back and forth which allow the photographer to create a sharp image of the subject. Next is our depth of field here. Depth of field review lever. This is where the depth of field review lever is located. So this helps you to determine what focus uh, this helps you to determine what, fo what photos will look like before the image has been taken. So when the button is pressed, the lens will stop down to the aperture that you have set. And then, you will be able to see a preview of what the final image will look like through the viewfinder. The viewfinders, yes. Then next is the multiple exposure exposure lever so this is the multiple exposure lever here the small one right yes. so uh, this is uh, it is the taking of multiple exposure precisely on the same frame and next is the exposure measurement button this is the exposure measurement button is located here so, this measures how light or how dark uh, the image will be in capturing. So, we're gonna... So, these are the uh, 18 parts of... 18 basic parts of an analog camera in front view. In front view. So, let's proceed to the back view. So this is our back view of our analog camera. Here we have our viewfinder. This is our viewfinder. So the viewfinder eyepiece is where you will place your eye to, si to sight or see your desired subject to capture. And next we have our rewind fork. This is the rewind fork that part this part that's the rewind fork so the rewind fork this is connected to the film rewind crank and knob it holds the long spool core inside the film cartridge chamber next is the film cartridge chamber this is the film cartridge chamber so the film cartridge chamber it is necessary to load the film fir firmly and is located at the canal area on the left side at the back portion of the camera. Next is our battery chamber lid. So the battery chamber lid this is where our battery is located. We can see here a uh, hole. This is where we <clears throat> load or unload a uh, battery and next we have our tripod socket the small hole here that's the tripod socket so the tripod socket this socket is the one to hold the tripod so if you have a tripod you will install your tripod here next we have our film guide film guide rails so these two here one that two so the film guide rails this is a tiny protrude fragmentary metals found at the top and at the bottom at the bottom area top top and bottom area of the focal plane shutter window so this is the focal plane shutter window and this is where our film guide rails is located at top and bottom <clears throat> and next is the film sprocket so this is our film sprocket this one this is our film sprocket so the film sprocket this is where the sprocket holes will be engaged in and then is 
Next, we have the camera back. This is the camera back, this whole part. That's the camera back. <clears throat> so, the camera back is this the back cover, the back portion or the back cover of the camera which you will open if you load and unload your film. Next, we have our film pressure plate. This is the film pressure plate, the white portion. So, the film pressure plate it press the film without scratching and hold it flat in the focal plane of the camera this this will hold and press the film without scratching next is our film rewind button so this is our film rewind button that small part there that that's the film rewind button so the film rewind button, this allows you to rewind the film back to, to its original canister. And next, we have our film take up spool. This is our film take up spool. This big white part here. That's our film take up spool. So it pulls the film along so the unexposed film can be placed behind the shutter. Next is the film cartridge confirmation window. This is the film cartridge confirmation window, the, la the last part of the camera, the 30th. Film, film cartridge confirmation window. So this is where you will see if there is a remaining film in your camera. So this part, uh, this one, here, that, that's the film that's the film cartridge confirmation window so uh, this is a hole with a glass cover so that there we will uh, see or atong malili kung if ever napabay na bilin na film sa camera so that's the part these are the parts of the an of an analog camera in back view so all in all the front view and the back view we have 30 parts so in that 30 30 parts i hope that uh, you can get an another learning or additional learning about camera so that when you encounter or you can own or you can borrow a camera and you have an, a background, a little bit background on how to use and hold the camera without uh, ruining it. So that's it. I hope uh, you enjoy this video. Until the next time, see ya!